Я сам на грязный заяц Баксы бани Кидаю деньги в сауну Баксы бани Мешаю ментку с колой So get up in that spot when I'm trying to get it on, you know. I had my Xbox, so 2K, Madden up in there. Go ahead, kids. Go in there. Put that up. Go, go play the game. Me and mama oh, gotta talk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Me and mama gotta talk. But there he go. Something that happened, they scrapped the disc up. Badass kids, but anyway. Straight up. Camera Yup! What up, what up? We in the building. It feels so nostalgic to be back here. Yeah. yeah. So, we all one time for the one time, <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. The name's Maximilian. This is Straight Cloud. Wow. Yes. And sir. it's like, damn, it's. <laughs> this feels like a one year, two year anniversary. So this is like kind of, I mean, dang, we missing Taylor Love. Shout outs yeah, to you, sis. Yeah, shout out to her, Tracy. You know, she gonna be here tonight. Busy woman, she out here shaking shit up in the city. Yeah, movies, commercials, modeling. Shout outs to sis. Shout outs to all the models out here in the city too, man. All y'all uh, beautiful people. Shout out. You know, the men and the women, all y'all are doing y'all thing, man. Y'all beautiful souls out here. I've been keeping <clears> gang. <throat> we got a good, like, model culture here in Detroit, though, low key. Yeah. A lot of, like, low key models out here that's really doing their shit. And photographers. We got, like, the best photographers yeah. out here. Yeah. And shout outs to, sh to my bro, C Vlad. Yeah. My man yeah. behind yeah. the camera. Yeah. yeah. You know, so we, man, we got motherfucking photographers, cinematographers out here, if you will. Mm -hmm. I mean, music. We already, Detroit music, we taking yeah, over. No it ain't no fun. Yeah. It ain't no fun. to Chaz Chasing, man. Yeah. Chaz <laughs> Chasing all the way Just man. all around Detroit content 16. creators. All around Detroit content creators. Where? From comedians to actors to you know, musician is. Yeah, talented. Oh yeah, February 16th, All In, Time is Records' first official full-length project coming out. Yeah. I tell you, that shit is classic fire. Yeah, right. I ain't saying that because real my man's, that's my, that shit fire. It is, we co-sign that shit too. And y'all know I don't listen to Detroit rap, but I guarantee you, no skips. Yeah. In my no opinion, skips. no skips. February 16th, save the day. You already know. February 16th. Yes, yes, All, All in. All in. in. Timeless records. Yeah, yeah. And then, hey, and then, shout outs to Pops, man. Happy birthday yeah. to Pops, yeah. man. Yeah. Pops. Happy yeah. birthday to Pops, man. Yeah. Hey, and Pops, hey, I mean, we haven't even met yet, but I love you, Pops, because, yo, they be yeah, telling us how much you support and you really be in. Love you, Pops, man. Happy birthday to you, man. Yeah. Well, I forgot to Shout out to you, Pops. Real cool guy. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate all the supporters. Everybody who yeah. supported, liked, or even just peeped us out for a few seconds, a minute. Just for acknowledging <laughs> us. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Right. So what are we starting with now? today, folks? Oh yeah, because this is like just all the fellas in here. Okay. Like I said, we get that shit off. This yeah. feel like this should be like what? What was that? Barbershop talk? This should be like oh, yeah. barbershop, barbershop talk. Barbershop three. Barbershop three. Barbershop three. Barbershop three. Barbershop three. Barbershop yeah, Talk 3? We can be a little bit more vulgar. Since yeah. uh, Miss uh, Taylor Love ain't here. Let's be misogynistic today. <laughs> what up? What up? Well, fuck that bitch. No, <laughs> what's wrong with that? No, fuck that bitch. <laughs> this <laughs> day in Black Year ain't in Black History Month yet, but we got the first black man that can fly. Right. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that we get a taste of something else because. I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of state of Adams. Oh, fuck that bitch. Hey. Oh, 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 hey, oh, 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 hey, shit. Hey, shit. Hey, shit. Hey, shit. Hey, shit. Hey, Hey, shit. Hey, Hey, shit. 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 Over that distance, that 
white jug, say, no, nah, come here, nah, bitch. fuck that bitch. <laughs> fuck that bitch. That nigga took the leap of faith over that damn right. That nigga, uh, shout out to uh, Detroit song, Ha Ha Davis. That nigga said, not even judge can judge him. <laughs> not even God can judge him. Right. <laughs> no, that shit was funny as hell. Somebody said uh, he should have jumped that Judge Mathis like that. Judge Mathis would have blew this thing. Right. Why you think that nigga with the little what's he called? What's the little gamble? Then the door would have jumped that. I know a crackhead. I know a crackhead when I see one. I know a crackhead when I see one. You thought this gamble was going to be no crack your crackhead in his head. I know a crackhead. I think he's going to try that shit. Judge Mathis. Hell, huh. Judge Mathis, Judge Mathis, we got to beat this right. nigga ass right in the air. Right, right in the air. He definitely would have called him for sure. Man, since we talking about courts, man, Gypsy Rose need to get her ass back in jail. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. That was, she a nice little put together white girl. She yeah, a manipulator. I, 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 she I, a manipulator. She, she, she need she her ass back in jail. What she do? Tell the story, man. Yeah. Or C-Blad, one of y'all tell the story. C, I talk too much. I'm no, trying to you, stop. C-Blad, come on, talk. You you know, know, you know, you know, go ahead. Oh, y'all, come on. Come on, C-Blad. <laughs> come on, no, you. They see it, you, so you can tell it. Come on. Okay. Gypsy Red, shout out to you, though. Gypsy Rose, oh, for yeah, people. Gypsy Rose. Oh, for yeah. Gypsy Rose, for people who don't know. Gypsy Rose was the girl whose mother had, and I'm just finding out, she had some type of mental illness or disease. Bitch is crazy. And basically Gypsy Rose grew up taking medicine, pills, shots, basically. She was confined to a wheelchair. Yeah, she was confined to a wheelchair. Her mother lied and said she had all kinds of cancers, all types of illnesses but she was completely fine. Her mama was just drugging her up with all types of crazy shit. Raw the state of Louisiana, Missouri. So neighbors, they start getting, hey yo, I mean, and the mama, they gave her a free house. Yep. Money. Yep. She in with the okie doke. Mama was yeah, running the scam. She's scamming like a motherfucker. Big ass scam. But, well, but like this, Gypsy Rose uh, ended up, she was, her mom was telling everybody she was younger than what she was. Mm -hmm. So she actually was like, when all this shit was going on, cause they said she was born in like 91. So this shit was happening between like 05 to like 015 and shit. Damn. So when Gypsy Rose got about, you know, when she got of age, she started being interested in boys and shit. Her mama wasn't letting her grow up. Mm -hmm. So long story short, she conspired to kill her mama with this crazy motherfucker she met off the uh, Christian single or some shit. Christian mm -hmm. B. Yeah, whatever fuck it was. She met a crazy nigga off there. And this nigga was like uh, crazy as shit. He said he had different personalities. And he said, like, yo, uh, she's like, well, I need you to kill my mama. That's when we gotta be free. And the nigga was like, yeah, I'd do it. So he went, she paid for this nigga to come to her crib. He killed her mama and shit. And then took him or her back to where he stayed. She didn't like living with the nigga and being with him. So she's like, oh, I don't want to go back. But that time, the law was on their ass. Mm -hmm. So they <laughs> ended up uh, It was taking, a wreck. Yeah, they took both of them to jail. And they was given, they was tried, what was it, try, uh, tried as adults. Yeah, they was getting, no, they was tried as adults, but they together too. Mm -hmm. And uh, Gypsy Rose's lawyer ended up saying like, well, because she suffered all this mental and physical, right. emotional abuse, it, this is the reason why she wanted to be set free. She's actually a victim, so we're gonna try them separate. So she yeah. let dog out to be home so, mom. So, so basically, dog who killed her mother, who and she and manipulated. Side her. note: the motherfucker stabbed mama so many fucking times. Yeah. And then, so that motherfucker is rotten and rotten. He got life. Yeah, he's rotten his ass away in jail. Gypsy, Gypsy Rose only got, got like out. 15 years. No, she got out. But she just got out. Yeah, she got 10 years and she got out on okay. December 27, 2003, and she's already married. So what's you motherfuckers' problems who can't find a man? <laughs> but no, 
That motherfucker, don't do like, it. like I said, she definitely deserves still to be in jail. Like she, this motherfucker was clearly crazy. Right. And she preyed on that shit. And then now she, she out living her best life. They got messages, they got leaked messages of her uh, texting her, her new man who she with now. And talk about that his D was fired because he was feeling insecure or whatever. And she was like trying to manipulate him again. You like how she do all the boys. Oh yeah, I did. She, she said, oh, did oh did, you, no, I, don't worry, your D is fire. I ain't gonna lie, she's not like a bad looking chick and everything. Like, Come on, bro. She got a straight body and everything. Sound like it was whack to me. It sound like it was whack. Shoot, <laughs> <laughs> sure, you're talking about something fire, like, she has no shit. <laughs> 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 I'm saying, like, who says, oh, D is fire? Like, come on, man. This is a crazy bitch, man. Yeah, I wouldn't even give a fuck. I think she needs some more time in there. If she ain't stalking you, yo, shit ain't fine. Yeah, yeah. Like Bernie Mac said, I got mine. Mm. Ready to get yours. Right. <laughs> you know, it's just, I don't give a shit if a chick tell me my shit ain't this and that. Like, who are you having this fuck? I don't give a fuck. Mm. <laughs> you still had it in your mama, so, so, right. so what we talking about? I still got it, so look. I still hit though. Right. Right? I still hit though. Oh yeah, I got some ass. Sorry, stink. Sorry, stink, stink. I still hit. Yeah, I got some ass. Yeah, I took my number. Okay, yeah. come on. Yeah, we we. We had Jesse Rose. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never slept with a killer. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> that killer. That, that we had to do it for the one time. Bulls, Bulls, man. man. Uh oh, 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 back, oh, 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 Jeez, shit. <laughs> you a dangerous man. I'm oh, scared right. of you now. I, I gotta look at you she different now. Gypsy Rose, she yeah. gonna lose. Oh, she that means she can't girl. manipulate me. Okay. Who's the best rapper actor combo out of these four? Mm. Common, Queen Latifah, 50 Cent, or Ludacris? Wait, what? Who's the best Check. actor slash rapper, rapper combo <laughs> between Common? <laughs> Ludacris, 50 Cent, and Queen Latifah. That's crazy, they ain't got DMX up there. Yeah. Um, no, let a dog. <laughs> real. Um, Out of those four. Did they say LL Cool J? Mm -hmm. right. That's some shooter for real, been up there. Yeah. Uh, Wait, I was, so I was, who's on there again? Wait, Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah, 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 Latifah Common, Ludacris, 50 Latifah. Cent, and Ludacris. I mean, what movies he been acting in besides that just right? He was in John Wick. He was in that one movie with Tariq when he was little. Oh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. He was a street king. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. He was in the Mexican Gangster. Yep. Damn, I forgot. He was in, uh. Actually, he might have looked at him as a little He's a suicide squad. I forgot about that, too. That book, Smoking Aces. Oh, yeah. My shit, yeah. All right, shout out to Common, my bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. damn. Yeah, Common. Common is, yeah. yeah right. Wait, hold on, okay, wait, my hey, wait, let's run them down. Hold on, Common, Queen Latifah, she mm -hmm. had, uh. Of course she had, she had it off. Yeah. Then she had Just Right with Common. Yeah. Oh, shot too. Uh, you know, Latifah was some good shit. Beauty shot, that was, yeah. She got, she, no, she, no, she What's that shit when she played the lady, uh, damn, this is, this is our history. Yeah, it's like Right. No, the uh, the one that did the hair, uh, Madam C.J. Walker. Oh, yep. That's when Mike Gilson's getting her in the bed and yeah. shit. <laughs> that was a good movie, though. Actually played that lady down Bringing the Bringing down the house. With, uh, yeah, yeah, bringing it. Yeah, I, I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Even that one, matter of fact, the one with her and Little Chris on Netflix. Oh, yeah, that, was yeah, that was a good yeah, movie. Yeah, that was a good movie. I never even seen she that. She was his sister. Yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah, yeah that was a good that. movie. That, that yeah, one was good. I gotta watch that. I never even watched Luda that. Ludacris was in that? Yeah. That she, was uh, she was on Empire. I mean, uh, uh, Star. Yeah, yeah, Star. Yeah. I ain't never watched it yet. On 
equalizer too. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, she, oh she the new equalizer now. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, short live yeah. show. Look, and I, I seen, I, I, I seen the new one too, the third, the third equalizer. I've seen this shit. Oh no, yeah, they all like though. Um, okay, we said Ludacris. Well, obviously, Ludacris, all fast and furious. Common and Fifty Cent. Um, Ludacris, what else? Okay, the fast and furious. And I would say, only person I would say. I would say Queen Latifah, but then it's like, if you saying like music wise, like you can say music better than all of their stuff. Yeah, truthfully, but uh -huh. but he said acting and music, so you got to factor all that in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what's hard about yeah, it. Yeah, that's why I'm like, damn. Cause like, uh -huh. ain't none of them been like, I mean, just, just being honest, ain't none of them been. Like a head, like kind of a head. Not even that, they, they haven't been in no shit that's just like, like, oh, that's bullshit! Like they can't act, right? right. And their music is not trash either. None of them. Yeah, I agree. I would, I would give it to Fifty only because the the movies he was in, I kind of like those a little better. He was in uh, All Things Fall Apart. He's a football player and they call cancer. Mm -hmm. He's in that movie. Uh, he's playing that cop. Uh, or yeah, uh, the right or something. Yeah, right to yeah. kill, get rich or die trying. Yeah. Before I self-destruct. Yeah. Of course, power is the first. That's my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was an unreleased song. He just never yeah. put it out. I ain't gonna lie, I was looking all over for that. Yes, yeah, so I've been looking for that That's song. Wait, 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 before I stop the show, he was hitting old girl in the, in the back. Yeah, in the yeah. He like, girl, you need to stop it. That's all I was on. I'm going to look for it because I think I do. I think I know I how to get that. Matter of fact, I should have asked him, man. No, I think yeah. I know how to get that. I might, I'm going to find it. Please. I'm like, girl, why is this song not out nowhere? Because you know, right. you know, I'm a big GU singer, dog. I'm a YouTube deep. Nobody don't name that song. I'm going to get it right away to find that. Right. That shit. I even player. looked on the album. I thought it was on the album. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I did, did too. too. Yeah, and it wasn't even on the album. I'm, I'm gonna find it for you. Cause I got dog. Cause like man, even I even said it, dog. I will put all of those uh, G Unit Radio mixtapes over anything, nigga. I'm like 50s, yeah, literally like like the fucking king of mixtapes, bro. Yeah, back in the day, them, them niggas back. DJ Who Kid and G Unit Radios, nigga. Yeah, just had to be there. Really? That shit was hard. Yeah, well, it was. Some times, those were some good ass yeah. times. Yeah. Everywhere I'm at, everywhere I go, I've seen the same old hoes. No, so like nigga, like that nigga said, you niggas should worship the ground that I walk on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, start the verse off like that. Like, what the fuck comes like soon the verse start? You niggas should worship the ground that I walk on. <laughs> I That's how I like funeral music where he was uh, dishing yeah. camera out of there. Yeah. And uh, Bangle Smurf, not Bangle Smurf. Yeah, it was a Bangle Smurf. Yeah. It was a bunch of niggas he was dissing on him. He was like, as soon as the song, like, the song just come on, you niggas should worship the ground that I walk off. <laughs> what other one at the end? He was like, I'm like, God, you niggas. No, that was another one. They, they, uh, that sounded like funeral music where he was uh, talking about Jim Jones and uh, Cameron. Yeah, he was yeah. like, you know what? Jim Jones, he was like, yeah. He was like, Jim Jones is officially the cap on that. <laughs> and then, you know, uh, yeah, he was, uh, it was, no, he was going off on me. Showed up, that dude sound like funeral music, dog. Yeah, yeah, that nigga. Well, so, Shout out to 50, man. Right. It's, it's 50 for me. We all got. I can't really. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's a pain. I guess it's no yeah. good. I mean, it's, it's not, not a right, right or wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like all opinion. Cause if we really looking at it now, like dog, I thought Common was gonna be like the last nigga I would choose. Yeah, when they start making the movies and shit. It's and like, dog, got Smoking shit, Aces yeah. is one of my favorite movies. Nigga John Wick, and then dog, he was like a nigga really getting with John Wick though. Shit, like nigga, really yeah, think about it though, nigga. Movie. Common was giving this nigga John Wick problems in the first movie, bro. Nah, we are tricky and we told Sarah, you let's shut your fat ass up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you let's shut your fat ass up. 
Like, come on, man. He's like, I see what this is going on. He's like, he's like, that's a good one, bro. I just get yeah, high. He's like, shut your fat ass up. <laughs> I like comment the shot. Real shit, we talk about dog. I'm gonna go with comment, dog. Man, I, mean, I mean, it's like, yeah, man, yeah, I mean, it's no yeah, word. I'm saying it's good shit. They, but they, they, but, they but they hold the fuck out of LL with them, though. Like, yeah, LL is bad. Loki, I would have put LL instead of Luka. Yeah. LL played a nigga named God. Right. You don't get more epic than that. Right. They too deep. That nigga said, he, he said, what's my name? God! <laughs> He's like, love it, love it, right. love, love it. Love it, love it, love it. it. <laughs> it. He's like, put yeah, his arm in the door. Put his arm in the door. He's like, come on, come on, take it. <laughs> <laughs> How you hype a nigga up to hurt him? All right, just break his no, shit. Uh, no, right. funny right. thing, when he had my man said, it's too deep, when he had the, uh, Nigga was punching the bag, oh, yeah. and then nigga was like, "Nigga, you, you, you move again. again. I'm gonna get you. You gonna get that shit? You move again? And he was losing his shot right there, right, right there. Like, like, damn, damn. Yeah, he tell he had fun. That, that yeah, nigga yeah. love fighting niggas on set, boy. Yeah, we got uh, what was that? Him and Jamie Foxx. What was that movie? Uh, Any Game Sunday. Yeah, that was a good movie too. Yeah, he said Jamie Foxx. He told him he's like, "Hell, he's like, you know we uh." He's like, we just shooting a movie. He was like, this nigga really thought we was gonna play a game on Sunday. Right. He's like, he's he said, wait, wait, wait. In NFL. He said, wait, I got a game, man. <laughs> nigga, we are acting. Right. He's like, nigga, this is a movie. <laughs> that nigga said, said, he did me so hard, he pushed me to another movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, deliver us from Eva. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my shit. Yeah. 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 No, yo, look, sad though. Look, chick, I was fucking with, and everything. I was on her career chilling. She's watching that shit on VH1. Deliver us from Eve. What we That was good. Yeah, it was. What else he was in on real good? Deep Blue Sea. The nigga, he's the only nigga that survived. Uh, yeah. Deep Blue Sea. Uh, I said, why well, just say in too deep? <laughs> I'm Wayne H2O. Yeah, yeah. yeah. underrated. Like, come on. No, get yeah. it. That was underrated. Right. Oh, Halloween H2O underrated. Right. That was, was a swap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in that swap. Yeah, that swap. Yeah, he was in swap. Uh, what else? Shit? That boy was in some shit. I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm trying to think. Well, we were just talking about that in the house. Oh, oh yeah, now yeah. <laughs> that boy on Tuesday. <laughs> it is. Yeah, that boy is on Tuesday. Yeah, oh, I ain't gonna let. Oh shit! That boy I'm on this shit tonight. Yeah, yeah. 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 I see you on Tuesday. Hell yeah. No. yeah. Shout out to Tubi. Yeah, that's it on Tubi right now. Hey, did y'all watch that sloppy seconds? No, I heard it was wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, everybody keeps talking about this. That shit wild. Fuck hey. sloppy seconds. What's that? Please. What's that? Please. What the hell is please? Yeah, that shit yeah. outrageous. Sloppy I'm a, seconds. I'm gonna just watch the whole thing. What that feel here? All oh, that yeah, shit. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another Detroit movie. <laughs> He's oh, oh, <laughs> really thinking like, duh, and nothing against Tubi. Like I said, he can laugh at Tubi and shit, but just like if you really like take play like this, you would never see uh like what's my man name? Martin's Mark Scorsese. Mark Scorsese. If Mark Scorsese do a movie, that shit's not going, especially a brand new movie. Shit hell. Any movie for real of his is not gonna be on two. Like, take that's why I say like motherfuckers be be clown on two and shit and everything. Like, take a movie like Gangs of New York and shit. One of my favorite movies. Like, go watch that Gangs of New York, Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm -hmm. That's like we saying like man. I be telling, well, just some people I know personally that get their shit on Tubi and everything. I be like, oh, we got inspired to be bigger than Tubi. I'm like, Hollywood don't take that shit serious. Nah, nah, like, like Tubi ain't nothing wrong with yeah, ain't nothing Tubi wrong. for starting out and trying to get your foot in the door. It's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Nah, you gotta be brave into your shit in the film festivals. Yeah, right. Sundance, Toronto yeah. Film Festival, uh, mm -hmm. and just South by Southwest. Your and everything. You shoot for cans. Yeah. All that shit. Yeah. yeah. Go all in. <laughs> but again, like you said, shout out to Tubi. Yeah, shout out Nothing to wrong with Tubi, but you know, yeah. if you really taking the acting, like you trying to for real get out there, like I would, you know, enter into a film festival on your project. Right. Shout out to Tubi and Netflix, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Netflix is the shit. Netflix, Dave Chappelle came out with his special. Okay. New Year's. And mixed reviews, you know. Dave Chappelle, oh, she, she already came up. 
I enjoyed it. I the Dreamer. Watch the Chappelle show. <laughs> but what's wild is Cat Williams in her. Let's get it. Hold Took on. over. Hold on, hold on. Before we get into that, let's get into the Evenson list. Oh, the, the, the uh, yeah, Epstein list? Yeah, yeah. Let's say that one for last, because okay. that, that one hit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what? This yeah. Cat Williams. Oh, I got a bump. You got a bump for the yeah, light up. Yeah, I so, all I gotta say is, Steve Harvey, you old Mr. Potato Head ass. <laughs> you did my man's Bernie wrong, man. Right. Like, yeah, that shit. Mute dude head right. ass. He, he, he did Bernie wrong. Yeah, right. I, I, I ain't like that shit at all. He called him black and ugly and all that no, shit. No, it's not even that. It's, it's the simple fact when um, he called him that. That's what uh, Cat Williams said. He was like, he was like, the reason why he was hating on him, he thought he was black and ugly and one funny. But no, nah, what we thought he was it. good looking. What really did it was when um he, he, he got the yeah about the Ocean Eleven oh, yeah, and then he messed cool. around called the producers like I'll do it for half of what you pay and burn and then, and then and they right, ended that's up some snake ass shit yeah yeah, yeah I, that's some all ass shit like I, I lost you know what I'm saying but you couldn't have seen Steve Harvey doing that role either. like exactly. yeah me neither it's almost like that role was Taylor made for uh, Bernie Mac yeah, yeah. Oh, like yeah long ago yeah, my favorite comedian Bernie Mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite comedian is Chris Rock, but I mean, I don't put him in no order, though, but Bernie Mac is definitely a go. That's why Bernie Mac headline King of Comedy. You say the best of last. Well, since we on that subject, what's y'all Mount Rushmore of the top five comedians? Uh, yeah, my, I say mine is definitely Bernie Mac, Chris Rock. I know I'm gonna get some hate for this. Uh, DL Hughley. Mm-mm. Uh, DL Hughley. Yeah, he's funny. Mm-hmm. I want to say Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. And, oh, I got to throw my dog out there. The Bell Crawford. Yeah, because <laughs> Underrated like a mother. For real. No wrong with that. No wrong with that. What about you? Uh, Miles B. Barney Mack is number one. Then, no particular order after that. Uh, I'm going to Bernie Mac. Then I'll go Chris Rock. Uh, number three is a tie between EL and, um, and uh, Kevin Hart when he first came out. Kevin Hart first, first came out, he was 20 years old. It is a tie between them two, though. Know, I, I wouldn't say EL is funny. But I put them like at the top. Uh, number four, I, I put Rich Pryor on there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And number five, mm, number five. Uh, I gotta come back. I gotta think of the fifth person. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, man. Say Maxwell, he the comedian. <laughs> yeah, right yeah. First, you know, Bernie Mac is number one for me. Yeah. And like, like um, Dub said, no particular order. Richard Pryor, uh, Dave Chappelle for me. Um, Give me number five, Dave Chappelle. I'm just talking. Okay, yeah, Dave Chappelle for sure. And then, of course, you gotta go to who really kind of paved the way, Ray Fox. Yeah, I want to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about Richard Pryor. Yeah, Should have. Actually, George, next week on now, I'm going to do a new one. Go ahead, I'm not bad. Finish yours. I'm saying, because I know he's going to have a real episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yours will be there. Yeah, so I got to be thinking. Nah, I got to shoot. This is a big dummy. Oh, Red Fox. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big dummy. I watch that shit every day. Tough and so it's a classic, bro. Hell yeah. It's a tie between Eddie and Martin. I forgot about Martin. Got about yeah. Martin, too. That's what he named me. A lot of people. I know yours going to be. I don't match yeah. yeah. what we do. Let me do a duo. Let me do a duo real quick. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to say Eddie and Martin. Yeah. 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 Robin Harris. Oh, 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 I forgot all about it. He was life. reading my mind, bro. Oh, I had to think God. about it. Oh, Who else I said Bernie Mac, Chris Rock. Robin, 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 Robin Harris. Like yeah, Robin Harris. Go. Red Fox. Another goat. And number five, I'm going to say 
Eddie Murphy. All right, that's song. This nigga was reading my mind the whole time. All right, Max, the, the comedian, the real. Richard Pryor. Paul right. Mooney. Got about Paul. Got about Paul. Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Robin Harris. Yeah. And then it's up between uh, Martin and um, who did that? Who else? And he just popped up like. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go out and say. Wait, we talk about comedians mm -hmm. like the overall male or female, female. Male, female. Male, female. Male, female. and the new nigga Josh Johnson. Josh Johnson, okay. That's a funny nigga. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna say Martin though, just just to keep keep the legends up there. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to I've got my ear on Drake. But it was some fuck shit that he did to Cat though, like trying to get him to do the whole oh, yeah. shit for oh, Big Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm like, man, they should. I mean, yeah, what yeah, hear, nigga, I'm gonna just say this though. Like, I definitely seen where Cat Williams was coming from. Like, I understood what he was saying. And yeah, truth be told, um, you know, they should stop. Like, as far as they could be funny without having to put on a dress and everything. Like, it was kind right. she did speak for herself. I also understand what Ricky Smiley was saying too. As far as like, that's a part of being funny. Like, you know, we can. It's a prop and everything. Me personally, I would never. You know, I'm mean, not writing for somebody. Right. I've been writing for a man. Like, yeah, it's a lot of female comedians that you had to play on roles. Right. It's like you just dressing up as a woman, you dressing up as Bernice Jenkins doing this for you. Right. Like, yeah, like it's, it's plenty of women you can get to do that. Right. Yeah, we started at 24 off of the thing. I'm yeah, like, yeah. people just need to stand on what they stand on, yeah. though. Like, if, if you gay, just be gay. You got a whole community behind you that supports you. Exactly. Got your back. So if you gay, just come on out and just say it. <laughs> Trying to tell us something, C-Vlad? Hell. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> All this bullshit wouldn't have to come out if y'all was just honest with yourselves to begin yeah. with. Now you see niggas starting to respond quick as hell. Right. Hell yeah. This nigga Ricky Smiley crying on a live video. <laughs> Face I love coming out. Talking about this is a cry for help. What do you say? Uh, uh, uh. A fat face on live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I get I fuck with face on because his features in movies was And I gotta say this too. Ain't no way Ricky Smiley would have played Money Mike in Friday after next. Yeah, nah, nah. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Yeah. 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 Nah. Cat stamped that role. Yeah. yeah. He, 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 role. he gave him his But he got he did his little thing. But like club. Ice Cube, yeah. but like Ice Cube said, Ice Cube cleared some shit up. Yeah. And he was like, well, motherfuckers audition. Like everybody, if they wanted the part, they auditioned for it. Yeah, so of so. course, Ricky Smiley played, he auditioned, auditioned for Money Mike. Yeah. But Cat Williams was just that nigga. Yeah. Right. And so yeah, Ricky Smiley's a sample. He said that the role was never supposed to be like, Money Mike was supposed to be like something else. He was supposed to be like, like just hanging around the plaza and shit. Mm -hmm. So, Cat Williams came and threw his spin on it there. Yeah. Yeah. I think you cleared that shit up too. Real talk. Shit up, we, I think we talked about this before, but me and Derek was having a uh, debate with this the other day. So I said, overall, between the three Fridays, overall, the original is the best one. Just overall. Overall, yes. I give it to the original Friday. Yes, it's a start of everything on. But as far as the funniest, Third one. Oh yeah. Definitely <laughs> Friday at the next Yeah, I we used to watch that every freaking day every time I got out of school. Like. Yeah. yeah, that's what you said. We like, I said the second one then we gotta talk about the third one. I was like, yeah, I have to agree. I think the third one is the funniest. Right? I gotta go with the third one. Tired of eating that barbecue from up the street. They like, give yeah. something they need me. Bring your big ass Taste so good, make you want to slap your mama. Make it run 
Derek Willie. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Damn, <laughs> hey, you want Willie? Funniest Friday, man. Friday, uh, next Friday or Friday after next. Leave it, leave it in the comments. Leave, leave it in the, the comments. comments. Yeah. Um. So we were still, uh, we still on the, the, the Cat Williams interview. Uh, oh yeah, what else? What uh, when he did the, the comedy verses here with Steve Harvey so that really and killed his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really I, I thought that was like yeah. a yeah. No, that yeah. Yeah. I was they supposed to be there. I wanted I wanted to be there, but I ain't I ain't make it. Yeah. But dog. I yeah. Ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't tore that nigga ass up. I ain't go to it, but they said Kai Williams won that shit. It was like a Fox. Uh, where? It was somewhere well, downtown uh, for sure. Like a comedy thing or like yeah, a it was like style. a head to head. Yeah, like comedy thing. versus. Yeah, like so it was like so, so it, was, it was like one came out first and the other one. Yeah, so. yeah, it's like a one on one, nigga. Like you do a set, and then the other one do a set. Mm -hmm. Whoever get the most laughs, nigga. Yep. And they say Cat Williams. They said blew the roof off that motherfucker. But that nigga talk about he had a wig on and shit. Yeah, nigga. And that's another thing too. He like the Steve Harvey show was a manicure of hanging with Mr. Cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Took yeah. Mark Curry shit. Yeah. yeah. And Mark Curry was here in the city. Shout out to yeah, Mark shout Curry. Out to Mark Curry too. And whoever did his promotion needs to be fired. Cause ain't no <laughs> way, ain't no way this man should be on freaking eight, oh, eight miles in a bro. motherfucking motel. Dang. You could at least put him in. I think you could at put him in Super uh, Eight or some shit. He said Super Eight. I think he's just doing that for uh, for for listeners. Well, yeah, you know we got kids. But yeah. though, that was that was a wild location though, bro. Where did he actually perform? Though? He was at the um the punchline. Um, yeah, the punchline. Yeah. 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 Oh, y'all yeah, gave him a nice look. Shout out to Mark Curry, man. I grew up on the hanging with Mr. Cooper. But yeah, fucking Steve Harvey show, man. They stole it from Mark Curry, man. Right. I mean, I ain't gonna front, man. Like, I didn't like the Steve Harvey. You can tell yeah, the yeah, day. I did the like Steve Harvey show. show man. This shit was good as hell. Right. And what was the joke uh, he said Cedric stole from him? About uh, the end of the King of the uh, Yeah, yeah. About the Cadillac, oh, when, when Cedric was talking about the Cadillac in the spaceship. They, they brought, oh. You know, King, if it's out there, they put that shit. Yeah, yeah, they put did. it out there. He did it on comedy. Yeah, he did it on comedy. Uh, he did it first. Oh, 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 oh so footage is out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Twitter. Sure. He did it on Comic View like yeah. back in 98, yeah. nigga. Oh, wow. King of the Comedy came on 2001. Damn. And the only difference is the joke, and the joke yeah, was like. Yeah, Cedric's in the spaceship. Yeah. But Cat Williams did the actual car. He was like. Cam, you could have had your car radio up so loud that you couldn't hear the damn thing when it cut off. It looked like this. You flossing in a six shift convertible.
right now, once again, here goes Cedric the Entertainer doing his joke from Kings of Comedy. They gonna move to the moon. Ain't gonna happen. Y'all move to the moon, damn it, we coming to the moon. Oh, we be right behind y'all in space shuttles with Cadillac grills, nigga. Nigga just rolling one headlight out. Tags be all wrong. All base. Y'all know we'll drive a space shuttle too. That's right up our damn alley. A space shuttle is long. They ain't scared of no black folk. We'll drive a space shuttle. We grew up driving long for cars. We'll drive a space shuttle like it's a 72 deuce and a quarter. We, 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 we get us a cigarette. We get us, we be in a space shuttle like it's a 72. It's some type of old school. He, he did it with like, you, know, you driving and it's a stick shift, and that bitch cut off, and he got out. I was like, up under the hood, he was doing all that. Then he got, it was like pushing the bitch down the uh, mm. street. He behind the chair act like he pushing it. He take off running, then jump back in the car and still <laughs> driving. <laughs> and the shit was funny as hell, though. I can't lie, it's yeah. more funny. Yeah, <laughs> shit was crazy. Yeah, he was just going to shut up. Yeah, yeah, my thing is, though, like, why these niggas be denying that shit? Because they know it's the truth. They know that's the truth. They know it's facts. Niggas call, especially with ludicrous allegations. Like, nigga, he's working with fuck rapping, nigga. Like Charles and White said, nigga, fuck all that rap. He's supposed to be like, hell no, nigga, I ain't do that shit. Right. Mm. Like, nigga, my talent got me here, nigga. This is why I'm earning this, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? Right, right. Ain't no Illuminati. These niggas all everybody dancing I mean, and all that shit. I mean, devil's advocate though, Luda was a rapper. Yeah, he, he didn't was. have an actor catalog yeah. to just jump right into Fast and the Furious, bro. I mean, leading up to it though, because he was, remember he was in Hustle and Flow. Uh, he did some, he told Hustle oh, yeah, and he, Flow. Yeah, but he got no, he, yeah, he, yeah. he did some after Hustle and Flow. I can't remember. And then, I thought he was in that movie Crash. Yeah, that's what I was thinking yeah. about. It was Hustle and Flow, then Crash. Max Payne. With uh, Mark Wahlberg. Oh, yep. So that's all that. that yep. I he, forgot all he, about he that. He's a detective in there. All that came before Fast and Furious. So that's what I'm saying. Like, the nigga could have said, like, yo, I was, you know, improving my crack and everything and shit. Yeah. And nigga rap about it, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Ozzy ain't lying. Fuck rapping about that shit, nigga. Right. I actually like Ruby Chris. I hope he ain't get no gay and shit. Keith, Keith don't get that nigga. No, Keith, that nigga don't try to wag around. Right. Every ever, time bro. we talk about old shit, we listen to that. He he bring Ludacris Chris name on that shit. Trash. I'm like, nigga, Ludacris Luda right. Chris shit. That's crazy. That's crazy. Who do y'all see? Luda got a fire ass catalog. Them first four albums, you can't Come say on. one fire. Come on, man. Especially, uh, um, my favorite one by might be a red light. Yeah, red light like district. What yeah. was that we was watching on GQ when they was going off for all his kids? That's all I'm like, damn, I forgot Luda Chris even had all this shit. All right. The first first time I heard Luda Chris, um, oh, was from you, uh, because you had that word of mouth album. Yeah. I played the shit out there to that motherfucker. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you literally. He I played with some play. I'm steal that shit from my cousin. He would not let me take yeah, that I, bitch I, off. I ain't gonna buy like- He I, would not I, let me take that I bitch ain't off. I ain't gonna buy like two or three word of mouth albums. Yeah. Word of mouth, chicken and beer. Yeah. yeah. That's your first time, the first time. That chicken and beer was nice. And the that, theater of the mind. Theater of the Mind, that was Battle my next. Battle of the Sexes, Battle of the Sexes. Release Therapy. Yeah, Release Therapy. Ooh. I mean, at first cut his, uh, mm -hmm. cut his hair. Yeah. And he get Release Therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope Luda didn't do that shit though. Man. Yeah, yeah, Luda, shout out to you. I, was I, ain't, you guys, I ain't a huge fan of the Fast and Furious franchise like that. But damn, I still was a fan of you, motherfucker. Right. Don't prove me wrong. I mean, prove, yeah, don't prove me wrong, nigga. Mm -hmm. Man, <laughs> no. That shit. For the main of it. So what you about to say? What you about to say? Mm. What you about to say? I think he ready for the main, the main topic, the main of it. Oh, if you want to go into that, this your shit. Go. We gotta let Max get yeah, shit. He got no, yeah, that, and he got all the information on it. Anyway. And then, and credit to Max. 
Max been talking about this shit for some months anyway. Right. So we get all the information. So without further ado, Max. Oh yeah. Go <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. ahead. Got the flow. Get the shit off. Get it off. Oh. Mm. <laughs> me, 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 me. Ladies and gentlemen of the Straight Cloudy 1025 crew community, the Epstein Island documents, the list is out. Everything ain't all out, but they releasing some stuff. We got some names. This takes me back. I got a Dave Chappelle moment. This take me back to where I used to watch Pokemon. And they say, guess that Pokemon. That's what this Epstein list was for. You see it highlighted right there. Bill Clinton, him and Hillary was fucking. They, they, they were sharing. They were swinging. Naomi Campbell, ooh, she was dangerous out there. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis on that shit. Mm. Why, 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 why you think he fucked up all of a sudden now? He can't talk and do shit no more now. Ain't that about a bitch, huh? Right. All of a sudden, he got dementia and shit now, huh? Now nah, he don't remember shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to laugh, though, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he don't remember shit. Hell no, he don't. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> we love you, Bruce Willis. Oh, I know. <laughs> Good for your ass, nigga. Cameron Diaz. Damn. Cameron Diaz. She was so fine back in the day. Yeah, she was. Why she a fine ass white fool? Guys, New York, she was fine. Mm -hmm. What's that, uh, Charlie's Angels? Yeah, Charlie's Angels. No, nigga, yes. wait, you said, wait, did you just say the mask? Yeah, she was yeah, oh, yeah, 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 My favorite, yeah. in the mask. Hey, she was, she was, she was, she was, she was bad, bad. that shit. Fuck in the mask. Mm-hmm. Fuck the mask, that. Leonardo DiCaprio, I'm like, damn. Uh, well, you know, Leonardo and them boys, they been freaks. Them, yeah. them niggas, they, they used to roll with uh, Tobey Maguire and all them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they were some freaky boys. Damn, was damn, damn Spider-Man. Y'all mm. niggas going to He on the list, though? He probably is. He he more names on there. He said Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio was on there. Yeah. Anderson yeah. Cooper. You have Anderson Cooper. Oprah. Yep. Oprah. Ah, ah. Oprah. Oprah on that bitch. Oprah. Yep. I knew that's good for your ass. All right. That's for putting out that remake of that bullshit color purple. Get the fuck on with that. So I'm a stand that was with her too. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it was, was her and Gail. It was, it was her and Gail. Gail on that bitch too? Nigga, her and Gail. Uh, when you see Oprah, you see Gail, nigga. Yeah, that's right. Gail had to be her. Stan, what the fuck you been doing all these years? She got that nigga locked up in a fucking house in oh. Chicago somewhere, nigga. Right. Tell him to shut the fuck and up. And that nigga is set for life. Right. He ain't saying yeah. shit. That nigga eating uh, bologna and turkey sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With filet mignon for dinner and watching Ooh. football and drinking beer every day. That nigga is living a life, nigga. And before we get to the main dude, because we building up to the main dude, who you finna go Like this motherfucker. Yeah. But Mike Jackson was on that list, but old girl cleared his name. She said all she did was just meet him. He ain't do shit. Y'all get all Michael Jackson dick. He was that man doing his own thing. That man is the goat. Leave him alone. Let him rest in peace. Right. The, the king is the king of pop forever. He was doing his right. own Michael thing. Jackson, right. Oh, girl, clear. His name is. She was like, no, he ain't do shit. At this list, boy. Donald Trump. Yep, Trump. Yep, Trump on here. Shout out to Trump, nigga. Big Donnie. Trump. Big Donnie. Huh? Say Big Donnie. The Don Donnie. Trump. Don, Don, hold oh, your nuts, oh, nigga. Right. Tell the fuck y'all. Oh, yeah, right. I was there. I don't give a fuck. Yep. Well, I'm looking at this list, y'all, man. Who else is on there? Beyonce, Jay-Z. Beyonce, Jay-Z. Jay <gasps> yeah. What? Swinging. Mm -hmm. No. Sharon. Damn, ho. No, hell no. Sharon. I don't believe that list, not Sharon. No, nigga. He was on there. The goat was on there. Got Al Gore on here. I believe that shit. I believe that shit. I'm surprised to be your Clinton. Steve Hawking. Hawking. No. 
He was the one for last. He was the one for last. Oh. Dead freak is all right, nigga. Well, oh, well, 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 since Rail was good. No, no, no. Wait, you said. No, we good. Look, you can you know, say. And Jay. Yeah, they was on there. The George Lucas. Yeah, George Lucas was Damn. on there. Damn. What are you doing there, Lucas? I'm not surprised. You think that nigga came off the Star Wars? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not surprised. What's the message? Oh, no, he found out the shopping troops, boy. Who else? Oh, wait. Yeah. I'm gonna say Robert Kennedy Jr. Oh, yeah. I'm That nigga was a player. He was a pimp. Chris Tucker. Oh, Chris Tucker? I forgot about him on the comedian. Yeah, he was on the comedian. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chris Tucker was on there. Well, Key Hoffman of this, I don't even say shit. He in my top 10, though. Because niggas, it's a lot of motherfuckers that's a bigger name than you. With your name, you can get lost like a motherfucker. Like, yeah. Jay-Z and Beyonce, what the fuck are they doing on that list? Because it's way more politicians and lawmakers on yeah, yeah. I think they wrote that shit. What you they know, say? they, motherfuckers get so much money. I mean. They just comfortable with their sexuality. Bro, they be sharing each other. They just but, be. Well, I can believe that. But I'm saying they like, don't have time to fuck each other anyway. Saying, so they don't have time to fuck each other. What if it's like, okay, I heard Nick Cannon say that shit. He's like, man, it's Hollywood. Like we all fuck each other. But this is what I'm saying. What if it's like one of these things where it's like, okay, you know this dude on this island and shit. This where all the celebrities cheat up, go and hang out and everything. So what if it's like, if he just gave you an invite, what if it was like he gave you an invite and your name just got written down like, oh, he was, he or she was invited to come and I visit. Mean, I think your boy was on there too. Who? Tom Hanks. But it, yeah, Tom Hanks was on there too. Yeah. Tom I'm Hanks. Surprised. Mm. Well, I don't need to do no freaky shit there though. Like I Why said, you to that ninety percent is on there for sure. Who's star? Ninety percent is freak shit. The other ten percent was just doing their own yeah, shit. So yeah, what was going on at this island? Like, who who can confirm that shit was not the chick? The chick that locked up his apartment. His ex-wife. His ex-wife. His widow's wife. So they said wife. it was trafficking. Young girls. Underage. Yeah, women. underage. I'm talking about like, <clears throat> like, I think like 16 on to like, I think the youngest might not be 11 or something. Mm. A 17 year old at Naomi yeah. Campbell's birthday party. Yep. And what she do to Naomi Campbell? What did Naomi Campbell do to her? She was dangerous, boy. Naomi, Naomi Campbell was a grown ass woman when she married. And Naomi Campbell put some on the motherfucking boy. Right. Especially at that time when you got a crush on Naomi Campbell. Oh, nigga, she'll make you, she, she'll, oh, she'll make so you do whatever she wants. She had tall, chocolate, long leg motherfucker walk in. So why ain't none of nobody else came out and said shit like, I mean, you, you can't, nigga. you can't, it, it's out there. What you gonna say? You gotta realize what we didn't learn so far. Once you get into these billion dollar communities. Yeah. You are like what they call like exclusive member now, nigga. Like where you gotta do something. Like it's a show on Netflix, bro. Uh, the Fall of the House of the Ushers, whatever. I had yeah. sent that to yeah, you. Yeah, I heard it on yeah. Bro, billionaire ass family, nigga. And it's like they basically just got killed by their own greed, nigga. Like just crazy, wild shit, bro. But dog, they was showing like the, the youngest, bro, the youngest nigga found out that they had an abandoned building that they owned that wasn't doing shit. That nigga turned that bitch out. Billion dollar sum party turned into a whole fuck fest, nigga. But then everybody died, and got burned by ass, it's full alert. Mm. But dog, you could just throw a sex party, nigga. Mm. In the middle of nowhere with a billion or something dollars, bro. And then the island went on US soil, so couldn't no wall people do shit. So imagine, you got Epstein, all these other billionaires around. Just imagine all the type of wild shit that was going on. All the type of drugs that was And we building it up to the biggest freakazoid of them all, right. frequently. Uh, we, but but, but uh, we, we got any more names that, that we yeah, want? I went to that shit. Who was that, John Cusack or uh, uh, Spacey? Kevin yeah, Spacey, yeah, Kevin his Spacey, freaky Kevin ass. Spacey was on there. I knew he was on that list already. Right. Yeah, he has been on there for years. Woody Allen. Yeah, Woody Allen. Yeah. yeah. And we don't even talk about how this sick fuck is still living in community right. and ain't nobody said a peep about this thing. Right. right. But y'all want to fuck with Michael Jackson. But you want to fuck with Michael Jackson. But you want to fuck with Michael Jackson and Bill Cosby and all of these niggas. Right. And you got these sick fucks. But you got Woody Allen right. and Kevin Spacey who basically invented playing with boys out here in Hollywood. Right. But no, I ain't gonna say he's the original. He, 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 he,
he a participant. But he a, a, a serious advocate of boys, of what play over boys. Right. Sick Kevin Spacey, fuck. Sick Woody Allen, fuck. And ain't nobody saying a peep about these boys. Uh, and uh, Soul Plane. Was he? I think he was a star. Tom Arnold was a star. That's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm switching up. Kevin yeah. Spacey was my man from uh, Rollins, one. Yeah. He was a Star Wars, wasn't he? No, that was uh I know I know he was in Rollins. Uh, Kevin Spacey, the big white dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking of Tom Arnold from uh so funny. Who else? Um don't quote me. I wanna I ain't gonna even put that on her jacket. I ain't gonna put that on. We might as well go ahead and get your shit off of the biggest freak on that list. <laughs> Stephen Hawkins. Go ahead and get your shit off, man. What the documentary say? They say, yeah. So, um, yeah, have you ever seen Stephen Hawking there? Oh, yeah. Um, well, can you describe Stephen Hawking's um, preferences? Yeah, he he likes to watch butt naked midgets solve the hardest math problems on on a tall board. One, two, three. Who's man is this? You fucking freak! Talk you me! Hey, nigga! Hey, you see no, fuck. You know how sick you gotta be listen, to listen. pretend that you fucked up to get on Epstein right. Island and now you bionic man all of a sudden. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty interesting that they solved the fucking problem. <laughs> what? what? It don't matter who wanna watch a ninja nigga shaking ass on the map, bro. No, he didn't say shaking ass. He just said. It was some ass shaking in there. Yeah, it was some ass shaking. You ain't gonna see no midgets that ain't gonna shake no ass. Naked midgets trying to solve the hardest math problem on the tall board. Who gets off of that? If you ain't a, a, but a freak. It's weird as hell, but it'd be like. Yeah, so you weird. sitting in that wheelchair fucked up, when it's supposed to be fucked up, and you like, oh yeah, saw that math problem. That nigga can't get Saw that math problem, oh yeah. That nigga yeah. stimulating his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, the way the way you the way you put that fraction girl, oh I'm about to nut. Like what? Like what? Oh you yeah. Weird ass shit. Oh yeah. Pythagorean's theorems. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Turn around. Oh yeah, Turn the around. area of the yellow ratio. Marker, yellow chalk. Oh, oh yeah. wow. You put Shake it that on the left. Oh yeah, baby. Shake that little ass, literally, bitch. Yeah, oh, you giggle, little giggle, bitch. Giggle. Damn me. Oh, what you. the fuck? <laughs> solve, solve, solve that scientific <laughs> equation, Same you dwarf bitch. Do it now. Oh, yeah. Man, oh, I can what? feel it. I can feel he it. He realized he couldn't do shit. Bro. That nigga, dog, that nigga will walk, dog. It was like he. He had got a blessing. Oh, let me not say that, because I'm going to say T.D. Jakes was there, too. T.D. Jakes probably healed his legs to work. T.D. Jakes ain't got no fucking power. This is power of he Satan. T.D. Jakes ain't did nothing, dog. I don't care, man. What was that D.D. match? T.D. Jakes ain't did nothing. That's going to be the next thing to come out. Have you ever been swallowed up? <laughs> swallowed? Overwhelmed? Yes, I have, T.D. Jakes. And I hated that situation. But that motherfucker Stephen Hawkins is the biggest freakazoid of them all. Little midgets solving problems on tall boards. You oh, was what up. else he was into, right? That, that shit is weird. That's weird as hell. It don't get no weirder than that. I wonder where you find motherfuckers to do that. I mean, he got billions of dollars. You can find him. You got a billion dollars. You can find him. Well, say, like, you just go up to a little person and be like, yo, I'm going to pay you such and such money to get naked. And try to solve this math problem with the board tall as shit. Guess what? Um, so jump oh, hey, money. like what? Oh, yeah, what? Hey, uh, we want to give you 15 Man, million. You want 15 million and come fly with us and, and meet yeah, Stephen hey, Hawkins? Ain't no telling what they're putting up your ass. True. 
Sure. What type of drugs they they? <laughs> Yeah. That's the whole Epstein shit. <laughs> Drugs and rock and roll, baby. Right. Nigga came and showed me. Real rock star in that bitch. Yeah, nigga came and told me, showed me fifteen million dollars. I was like, yeah, this all yours. All right, nigga, I know it come with a price. And they tell me like, oh, yeah. all you gotta do is come with us on this island. And, and, and you and you get twenty five million dollars. We pay you twenty five fifty million. We wire it to you, okay, nigga? What? And we fly your ass back. I'm not doing it. It ain't no enough money in the world. Oh, you know what? Look, give me 50 million. I'm like, look, okay. Um, so you would go? My only cause is I just want to fuck all the billionaires' wives. That's it. Because guess what? The wives like 25 some years old, be IG models, nigga, and be fucking buying they back already. So yeah, I want the wives, nigga. I come, but I'm not, I'm not fucking with no man. I'm not doing nothing. I just want all the wives. Now, if the man want to watch me fuck his wife, I'm down for that too. You can watch me, nigga. That's as far as it's gonna go for fifty mil. Hell no. That's easy work, right there. Yeah, be careful. Remember, Cat Williams said about Harvey Weinstein. He said Harvey Weinstein asked him in front of his. Oh uh, yeah, people, yeah. Can, can he suck him off? Cat yeah. Williams yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, nah, nah, I don't do that. Yeah, he said uh, Harvey Weinstein paid him not to say nothing. Hell no. Freaking shit y'all niggas be into. Fuck Terry Crews, too. You you a gay ass nigga, bro. Fuck Terry Crews, nigga. Yo, what the hell do? No, just Terry Crews, nigga. Just remember this nigga was crying on the interview talking about him. He man touching my penis. Nigga, you cock diesel ass nigga. You didn't strangle a nigga and go to jail. That's what I'm saying. Niggas need to stop coming out. Like that uh Columbus short nigga. Oh yeah. They talk yeah. about some shit Tyler Perry did or whoever the fuck. Oh, you talking about that light skin nigga? Yeah. Yeah, one from Stomp the Yard. Why you ain't going to jail then, nigga? Yeah. I won't come up short. No, I know what you're talking about. That's a nigga that played on uh, Tyler Perry shit. The one nigga oh. talk about did he want to hit him come over like three in the morning just that's alone? Going short. Yeah, yeah, I think that's going for short. He gonna Stomp the Yard. Yeah. Like, DJ. Dude. Yeah, he and then he on he on them on true true to the game movies if y'all see. I know what Columbus Short is, but I'm saying when did he come on and say something about them? He said something about Diddy. He was like, Diddy call them. When? When he said I ain't seen this shit. It was on Instagram. It was like when it, when the, when the Diddy stuff first broke. He was like, yeah. He was like, I'll see you in bed, my wife. He was like, Diddy call me. He was like, yeah, I ain't see you at uh at some award shows. So he was like. So he's like, yeah, uh, he was like, uh, what you doing right now? He's like, man, I'm in bed with my wife. And he's actually like, he told him, he was like, oh, come over. I, I'm at the, uh, uh, um, on some expensive ass hotel. So, yeah. In LA. And he was like, and he was like, oh, uh, who I think Four was? Seasons, I think. Oh, I'm at Four Seasons. And I'm sure I asked who all was there. And he's like, oh, it's just me. Nigga, I'm like, what? The nigga Diggy told Fabulous, he's like, ooh, I'm gonna party with you. He owned fucking camera. That's a fab and fab was looking. I'm like, bro, you already party with him. He's like, no, he's like, I don't really. Oh, I really party with him. Like that was I, some... I like the way you be shaking and scrambling, daddy. Nah, do that nigga do this shit off. Ain't none of these niggas went to jail for strangling a nigga or stabbing a nigga. Right. Cause bro, I guarantee you it was gonna be violence. You approach me with some bullshit like that. I'm gonna be on TMZ for fucking somebody up or some shit. And then nigga, you that old, you do it on fucking camera? And this bitch ass nigga Terry Crews crying. You, you touch my penis, but you making your titties jump in every fucking fucking movie you in. <laughs> and you mean to tell me you can strangle a nigga? Like, dog, if niggas is gay, just say you gay, bro. Y'all got a whole community behind y'all. That's it. Everybody lived their truth. 2024. That's why I'm glad all this shit is happening now because it's the reckoning. Hollywood need a oh, cleansing. Hollywood need a cleansing because it's about time. It's bullshit writers out here. It, yeah, yeah. It, all, all the movies suck. It's crazy. And like, how? And motherfuckers is not original no more. Like, Real shit. Stop trying to come up with reboots and all this other shit. Like, just be original. Come with something that I mean, have seen. I'm not proud of to be that. I just saw, I just saw the creator. The creator was a good yeah, ass. Yeah, that was good. Shit, Iron Claw. Yeah, Iron Claw was good. What's the shit? The what's iron, that what's that on? Right, right. What's that That's on? That's in theaters. 
That's about that wrestling family. Uh, the Von Everett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, oh, the Von Everett's. Oh, oh, the one, uh, they got, uh, what, Zach Efron yeah. and other niggas. And, um, lip. Hey, that did look pretty good, though. That shit good. Yeah, yeah, I actually did watch that shit. I co signed. That's a good one. That's a good ass movie. Sure. Now, the movie I did yeah, not like. The movie that I did not like uh, too much was the Godzilla minus one. Yeah, that one. You saw it too? Yeah. That I was, told you. Yeah, that was pretty stupid. Man, like it was. I it started off right. sweet, but. I got halfway through and I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Damn. Blue Beetle? Hey. That movie was good as shit. Thank you. Thank you. That movie a hater. I was telling my homeboy that. I was like, yo, Blue Beetle was, he was real sleep on. Nigga, that movie is good as shit. Blue Beetle was good, though. He kept talking about, hey, movie. No. I watched that shit. What's that movie I told you about Thanksgiving? Yeah, that was good. I give you that. The Blue Beetle was good, too, though. <laughs> I'll let y'all have it. Blue Beetle was good. Okay. I mean, and I personally never heard of that movie. That movie it's was uh, DC or Marvel. That movie with Adam Sandler did. Yeah, that he was a fucking that lizard. Too. There's a kid movie, but that movie was good as hell. Oh yeah, he keeps that lizard. Yeah, that movie was good as hell. For sure. Well, I ain't never seen it, but it's I saw Neo or some shit. Okay. Yeah, that was the last movie. I was saying that Uncle Man was good as hell. The one, and I hate that. I hate that I'm gonna say this, dog. But that one fucking. Uh, this Eddie Murphy movie that he did, that Christmas Candy movie. Candy Cane, oh, some shit, yeah. Candy Lane. You like that shit? That shit was good. I came from. I mean, oh, it was good. It was good. It basically, he just wanted to have, have like the best Christmas. Like they, the, the neighborhood was having a competition uh, for like who had the, the best lights and shit or whatever. This Christmas displays on the house. So this nigga ended up going to like a fucking haunted ass Christmas store under a fucking bridge out of all places. <laughs> and basically signed his life over to getting this crazy ass tree. You gotta watch it though. It's on, on Amazon Prime. Might check it out. Candy Lane or Candy Cane? So I think, yeah, yeah. Candy Cane yeah, yeah, Lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Salt Barn. That's the uh, movie I saw too. Mm. That shit was kind of weird, but it was all right. I ain't y'all all these movies I ain't even heard of. Since we uh, what's that on? Shit, you know, I, I can't get what. Oh, well, yeah. You know how I watched the shit, right? Yeah, damn, he's about to say. Um, but, uh, well, I know we like two weeks after Christmas, but since Christmas wasn't that long ago, y'all favorite Christmas movie of all time? Mine's is the Polar Express. Top of the dome, like deep down in my soul right now, I want to say Scrooge. If we talk about Strictly Christmas, I'll have to go with that one with um, at, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I was going to say that. Oh, I was Jingle all the way. Jingle all the way. Jingle all the way. I'm right. No. I feel like that one. Jingle all the way and Scrooge is up there, bro. The original one, not that bullshit they put out oh, yeah, next yeah. to that. The original one. Nigga Sinbad. Arnold Schwarzenegger, nigga. Yeah, that movie was yeah, good. Was and, good. and fucking Scrooge with uh fucking um my oh, nigga, shit. man, Bill Murray. Shout out to my lady friend. I'm gonna leave her name as well, but she put me on this movie. Actually, is it a, it was a, it's more of a Thanksgiving movie, so never mind. I can't say it. I mean, what was you gonna say? Uh, planes, trains, and automobiles. Oh yeah, I think that was John Candy and, yeah, uh, Steve, and Steve Martin. Martin. Yeah, I know. Oh, I the National that. Lampoon shit. That, they should be classics, bro. Yeah. yeah. Wait, that was wait. Was not a Christmas. That was movie. National Lampoon. No, nah, it was. Uh, they, they didn't do that. That was not seen that. But uh, no, it was, I think it was Thanksgiving. Uh, they was trying to. Long story short, uh, Steve Martin was trying to get home to his family for Thanksgiving, and John Candy was helping. Yeah. Him. Give him a lift and shit. Yeah, he's trying to find Jake Queen's away, but she like love this shit. She put me on the like, you watch it. So I watched the shit and I was like my, uh, my top five Christmas movies. Uh, oh, 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 oh my bad, my bad. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Well, I mean, if, if you know I got a top five, that, that's cool, but my top five. Number one, definitely gonna be the Polar Express. Hands down. Number two is 
Not the Grinch Stole Christmas. Oh, yeah. Jim Carrey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number three, be home alone. Oh, home alone. <laughs> oh, you crazy as hell. Crazy. 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 Hey, and y'all motherfuckers better stop hating because the first three nigga was good. I don't give a fuck. The third one was good too. My nigga had the remote control car. The oh, third one was good too, nigga. Oh, fuck what y'all talking about, y'all. Uh, <laughs> number four would be Krampus. Uh, that's a, a scary Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And then number five. Is a uh, Jack Frost with uh with Mike? Oh yeah, yeah, Jack Frost. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Thank you. He brought up a classic. Yeah, that's definitely a classic. Yeah. That's my shit. Mine's a Scrooge, Jingle All the Way, um, Jack Frost, um. For some reason, I want to say Snow Day, nigga. I know what's good joke. I ain't ever seen that. Wait, what's Snow Dogs? Yeah, that's yeah right. It was Snow yeah. Day. <laughs> Snow I Day. Um. And my man, um, Christmas Story. Oh, wait, you got a BB gun? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You shoot your eye out! <laughs> I ain't got no Christmas No, I take Snow Day out. But Christmas Story and, um, Grinch, throw Grinch. What you bring? You got, you got five right? Uh, Jingle All The Way, Jack Frost, How The Grinch Start Christmas. Uh, what was that other one you said next? It was, it was one Scrooge? No, not Scrooge. The other one. Mm. Or, the, the, or the Juice of It. It was one of the ones, but I'm gonna just say, Snow Day. first Christmas, I forgot my first Christmas. Yeah, first Christmas. The one with Chris Brown. Yeah, I said that. Oh, yeah, Idris Elba? Yeah. yeah. yeah that yeah, was a good one. Yeah. yeah. Well, what about the one with Danny Glover? Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking about. Hey, yeah. don't look like the one I got. That shit came out wild, man. What a piece of shit. That one? Yeah, I can't think of anything. Thinking them in there, too? Yeah, more than called last Christmas. Christmas. No, Danny when they Glover. did one dinner scene. Yeah, so far. Uh, yeah. Every day he's needed. Uh, yeah, that She's like, oh, you don't want, you don't want to be friends. Don't oh, carry heels of fire, man. Yes. What a good. Mm. Damn. Oh yeah. yeah. She another yeah. one. She lied over. Damn. I didn't mean switch up. I didn't no. Switch up. I, I thought that you was the. I ain't know. No, no, man. The last one. I know y'all probably won't count it, but I'm a count it. Friday at the next. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a Christmas movie. That's a Christmas movie. Yeah. 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 That's my title. Just watch it. Hey, Christmas. Yes, that's a good one. I mean, it was a Christmas day. Get yeah. your way on Christmas. <laughs> it's a hey, Christmas movie. I would play that's Snow Day with that. That's a good choice. I'm going to show on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's my movie right there. So, yeah, that's the best Friday out of all of them. <laughs> Did you, did he, did you answer? Oh, no, I had no Christmas movies. Yeah, he said, I had no Christmas So, uh, what else we got going on? I mean, you can wrap that shit up. Yeah, it's just about what we were talking about. Yeah, last words. Um, Monday, let's go, Michigan. Get that national yeah, title. Get that chip. Yeah, yeah. Lions gonna win tomorrow. They in the playoffs. Shut your hate down, sucker. <laughs> this dude been hating on Detroit and the Wolverines for the last couple days. Yeah, Michigan win that national title. Money. Yeah, when it's shit. Yeah, okay. When they do, I'm gonna come here and blow your shit off. Damn. <laughs> hating on my boys. Yeah, go blue. You gotta know how you're right. Oh, yeah, shout out to the Houston Texans too, man. That yeah, was, that that, that was epic a ass that was, that was a good game, right there. That was there. a good one. That's a good game. Shout out to Nico Collins and CJ Stroud. So hopefully um, around um, this time, your boy will have two fantasy championships. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to all of them. Who you look? Who y'all got going to the Super Bowl? I ain't asking no y'all. Ooh. I, mean, I don't watch football no more. I can, tell, though, so I I can tell you who not going to the Super Bowl. Who the Lions? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we, yeah. we, we gonna tune that down, but uh, yeah, I hate to one. say it, but Kansas City. Oh, of course, Kansas City. I, I, I don't see them going. 
Philly is looking real suspect too. I don't think Philly will be saying for him. Yeah, I don't think Philly gonna go. Damn shit, I don't think Dallas gonna go. No, I, mean, I don't believe in Dallas. I think Buffalo gonna choke in the championship. But with, I think with the Baltimore. real dark horse to get to the Super Bowl will have to be the Baltimore Ravens. It is. I got I got the Super Bowl being uh, San Francisco Baltimore rematch. Mm. San Francisco was scared as fuck. And yeah, then, but the way Baltimore, I mean, Baltimore bust their ass, I don't know. Yeah, no, I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that they would beat Baltimore in the Super Bowl. I'm just saying San Francisco oh, was scared. Yeah. Oh yeah, they definitely scared. And yeah, with but, CMC, that's my yeah. guy right there. The yeah. AFC Championship, I got to be in either Buffalo and Baltimore or Miami and Baltimore. And NFC, I got it being San Fran, either uh, I want to say Philly, but I don't think Philly is. I mean, they could. Actually, yeah, I got it being them, San Fran and Philly. Yeah. Sure. I know what it is. Elevate and start the second. February 16th, on that comment. You know how we reckon. We got this. I want to even go off, dog. Go ahead. Oh, oh. go off. Oh, we were trying to close early, but at the same time, we still got a lot of. Uh, I mean, we, 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 we like to, we, we go in, though. Go no, ahead, go ahead. Go off. Yeah, we still got battery, too, so. This I mean, is the final remarks. If you want to like, go off for 10 minutes, yeah, go off. I ain't going to say shit. Say. Go off. Air out wherever you want to air out. I'm, I'm, I'm really just saying that thing about some cookies. Dog, I want some soft veg, chocolate yeah. cookies, dog. I do, too. Don't let these OnlyFans girls fool y'all, dog. Go eat that shit off. Yeah. What they do to you? I fell for it one more time. I fell for it. I fell for a trap. These mm. chicks be poisoned. Don't yeah. fall for it. Don't fall for it. About a good. Like I said, don't fall for pretty face and big butt. And I'm talking about one of them where I have paid for the subscription. That was like twenty dollars. <laughs> hey. Then just for bullshit pictures, wow. bullshit video. Ten dollars. No, no, like my twenty five. Damn, twenty five. To see her doing what? To see her doing what? Right. See her doing what? To see her doing nothing. Right. Her doing nothing. So what? What? It's twenty five to see her sitting there naked. Not that. even naked. Man, that's fifty. She's sitting in bra and pants. Fifty, sixty dollars. Like baby. swimsuits and shit. Oh hell! Hey, oh, 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 see that shit for free on the internet. Exactly. Hey, you can Google that shit. I go on Instagram, see a right. a regular chick in her bathing suit. Men, stop supporting OnlyFans. I'm sorry, OnlyFans, but y'all asses got to go down. Hollywood going down. Y'all got to go down. It's time for a cleansing. It's time for you whores to get a job. Right, get right. some jobs. Go get a job, ho. It's time for some cleansing. Do some hair, learn to do some hair, some nails or something. Be like your Lash. mama. Do like your mama used to do, get that stroll. <laughs> <laughs> if you be hit that pole. Oh, <laughs> Both of them. Both of them. Hit that pole. Yes, he just spent fifty six dollars on pictures. That could have been sixty seven dollars going for a whole stroll. That's why I miss back page, man. Bro, you can do y'all know uh the catch me outside girl made over a million dollars just with pictures of her in her wrong pants. Like, that's, that's some scamming ass shit. That's that shit I'm talking about. Like, all the niggas, them niggas are some simping ass niggas. And, and for one, and for one, this little bitch is like just turning like just 18. 18 yeah, man. Time, sure Y'all are sick. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Taylor Swift got all the fans. I'm subscribed. One, one two, two, three. Will, Will Smith ass nigga. Y'all don't know, see that shit. Fuck yeah, wrong. She about to end up pregnant by Travis Kelsey. Right. Lucky motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I wish I could see his ex though. His ex is fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that black chick. Yes. Fine. Oh, she fine. Fuck you. Taylor Swift fine. She might be fine in Texas. I mean, yeah. she fine in Texas. She fine as fuck. I, yeah, I, I got Travis she, like, what I know she fine in Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift just like, man, she got hype. She look like a country girl. Yeah, Taylor Swift is very attractive. Yeah, yeah she is attractive. Yeah. Well, I, he's, he's, I wouldn't take the leaf. I would take the leaf of fake dive for. Oh, shit, that motherfucking 
And you know, these chicks be, be full of shit like, like, uh. And Kate Upton. They was, uh. Kate Upton. And that motherfucking, that vampire looking bitch who, who are like, they Al- Alexandria Daddario, whatever oh, yeah. her name is. Mm. But look, they was interviewing Summer Walker last year. And she was like, she was like, I date certain type of toxic men, so I can have some shit to write. Ooh, that's some bullshit. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Are telling the truth? No, she dead ass telling the truth. That's some bullshit. Mm-hmm. She dead ass telling the truth. Mm-hmm. Like, so you, you fuck with a fuck nigga just to have some pride about it? Right. So she was that damn shit. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> that's what it's called. <laughs> that's why it's called motivation shit. Inspiration, dog. You gotta put yourself in that situation to. That's you know I what? Know. Fuck you. with who fuck with you. Yes, shout out to Sexy Red. If you do that, I mean, what can go I don't like Sexy Red, so. She always yeah, like sexy. Yeah, we know you do, nigga. She had her baby yet? I'm happy. Happy for what? Happy for what? She had a baby. I'm gonna give her another one. Oh, yeah, see, so he Ooh. wouldn't have a kind of over her ass, though. Boy, he won't that he won't that guy for real, boy. He won't that guy for real. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and get that guy for real. He wants the blusters on his lips. He wants the blusters on his lips. He made a yellow bitch 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 on his lips. You is nasty. Yeah. I mean, but hey, that's, you don't like him, bro. That's what you like. That's your preference. don't do the Eddie Winslow. Here. Don't go down. Here in Straight Clown and TV, 1025 crew. We do not condone and bully it. any types of domestic violence, harassment, 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 assault in any kind. We care about everybody's mental health. True that. <laughs> and more than likely, he gonna put it somewhere. If you got a, a number to call for mental health awareness. Um, we just be talking shit, and I just want to give ourselves an applause again because this is like an anniversary thing. I mean, but it's crazy though, because I mean, Miss Sis being here, but shout outs to Taylor Love, and even Lane, man. Shout outs to Lane too, man. Because shit, he was here day one too, man. So, I mean. Yeah. Special for that, that one special episode. Yeah, Lane. Lane gotta, Lane gotta that be one. on Lane gotta be on Lane gotta get his shit back. Lane, 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 gotta, and, Lane gotta go off one time. And you know like in them old war movies when they used to load the, the ammunition up with the long ass yeah. chain of bullets, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be that nigga to Lane. Like just load the fucking bullets up for. Ooh. Lane coming for blood that episode. We coming for blood this year, y'all. Facts. But it's all positivity. But we just trying to be better than y'all. Just like I will hope y'all will try to be better than us. Let's see you, let's see you. Hey, made a winner win. What the fuck am I talking about? Uh, made the best man win, motherfucker. But still love everybody though. Shout out to all y'all. Shit talking is my love language. I like long walks, long romantic walks on the beach. And <laughs> and real shit, I don't be giving a fuck about these bitches. Oh, I'm a flirt, that's it. But I don't be giving a fuck about none of these bitches. I just flirt. But give money, and then uh, and they will come to you like Fifty said. He like you hustling backwards if you chasing the chick. Stupid chase the paper. They come with the shit. You will lose a lot of women chasing you. Will, you will lose a lot of money chasing women. You but you would never lose, lose women chasing money. That's, that's right. I think I love my wife. Never got that line from yep. And then my man said it back in one of them uh, 80s movies, 90s movies. Mm-hmm. True fact. That's that's true true red peel singles. Yeah, it's true red spill for your minds. <laughs> yeah, man. But uh, thank y'all, man. Uh, yeah. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, please, because I'm starting to learn the importance of 
uh, yeah. subscriptions and likes and stuff. Yeah, sure so please. Trying to get monetized. I mean, you know, yeah, trying to, you know, look out for the brothers, man. You know, just, just, just subscribe. Hit that bell on all. It ain't even got to be on yeah, all if yeah, you don't even subscribe. want it to be. Just subscribe. That's it. And like. And please comment, because I want to interact with more people. Yeah. We all want to interact. We want to know what y'all think, man. We want y'all opinions, man. And you can be real. Say, say what the fuck you feel. Even if you say, see, glad a bitch. This the thought that counts. Any of us. If you, feel like, if, you, if you feel like any of us is a bitch, go ahead. Let us know. Just say it. And we will try to work on that problem <laughs> together, together as a unit. See, see, when you have a machine such as ours, we have a, a powerhouse machine, okay? If one nut or one bolt goes missing off of that machine, the machine could go crashing down. So you have to make sure to keep the maintenance up. What do I mean by maintenance? Making sure that your people are happy. Making sure everyone is good. Okay, us, we can yell at, you, yell at each other, scream at each other, talk shit. But guess what? It's Why love about the black eyes thing, man? <laughs> what the black eyes? <laughs> I don't know why I start talking like this. Oh yeah. But let's, let's stop being sensitive. Start speaking your mind. So, like 2024, start speaking your truth. Start being your real self. Let's start doing that. But let's do it in Ooh, peace. No points being yourself. Let's do it in peace, though, man. At this point, we know there's gay people out here. At this point, we know there's bisexual people. We know that people like boys. A boy like a boy. A boy can like a girl and a boy. A girl can like a girl and a boy. We know all this. A boy can be born born a boy and then end up being a girl. Girl can be born a girl and want to be a boy. Sorry if I'm disrespecting. But we in a time now, none of this is new to us no more. So don't tell me about no fucking aliens in a mall in Miami. Y'all not distracting nobody. We know all that. We know we's on to y'all now. The government is trying to do it again. Yo, we know what y'all doing. Aliens in a Miami mall. What the fuck they doing out there? And why would they go to the mall of all places? <laughs> trying to get some Versace in that bitch or something? Some Gucci? What the fuck they in the mall for? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Chris Brown. So we ain't gonna talk about the aliens in my alley. No, nigga. <laughs> you go dance your ass on to another show, nigga. That's what you do. Like that nigga James Chappelle. Who the fuck care, care what Ja Rule thinks? Who wanna hear what Ja Rule? Who wanna hear what the fuck Chris Brown gotta think about fucking aliens in Miami? We got an Epstein that list out, nigga. Like. Cat Williams oh. just exposed. Here, one more question for y'all. Did y'all hear about he talking about some? He signed the one hundred million dollar deal. Who? Oh, oh. Ja Rule. You didn't hear that? So what? I don't know. He just said he signed the million dollar deal. Man, I used to fuck Ja Rule so heavy, dog. Right. But this nigga can't even get a song without show now. Hundred million. Yeah, Ja Rule was to go on tour. I think he'd be in like San Diego or some shit like that. No, he can get that from the deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would, what, nigga, that would have to be a murder ink reunion or him and Ashanti type shit. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, yeah. would have to be on the He definitely would have to be on the If Ashanti was added on, then he would probably be the boxing. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Because more chicks would come see Ashanti. Yeah, niggas would go see Ja Rule. Niggas would go see Charlie Baltimore, nigga. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ashanti. And then not to mention this nigga Ja Rule was rapping with niggas like Magic Man and Biggie and niggas like the Vox. Yeah, finale. Niggas they they nigga he was rapping with LL and niggas. Oh he was getting down with niggas. Shout outs to Outcast, man. Yeah, oh yeah. Goats. Yeah, definitely goats. 
Big boy talking about dropping the new album. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to get to ATL Georgia. It'll be an experience. Can't wait to get that done. Close out. Man, this was a good episode, though. I like this. It feel good. I mean, feel good being back here for, for a change, you know? Switch it up very nice. Switch it up, you know? Back to where y'all start. Like I say, man, let us know, man. Let us know how we doing, man, please. Drop your comments. We accept constructive criticism, man. We we ain't no sensitive motherfuckers right. up here. For real, we start interacting it's with like, us, y'all. For real, start interacting, man. Like, come on, like. Makes you better at your craft when you get, you know, that criticism. It makes you better. Please but subscribe. Like, take constructive criticism as you're getting down. Like, it's making you better. Like, basically, fuel it. You know what I'm saying? Do what you need to do. So, that's what it is. So, let's hit them with that motto. Love. Happiness, Happiness and, and all, all that, that other shit. shit. Peace out. Yeah. Stop the sip. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs>